Here's an up close view of the latches and straps on the roof nest sparrow. As you can see, you have to squeeze the button on the left hand side of this latch to get it to open or close. It's a safety feature so they shouldn't pop open while you're driving down the road. The strap on the front and back, you also have to squeeze this latch as well. And when you're trying to get the strap in, you have to squeeze it so it opens so the strap can go through the hole. And then to tighten it, you just pull the strap up. Here's a video of Josh closing the roof nest by himself. It's a little tricky. It can be done. I unfortunately have not been able to accomplish this call. Um, I'm a little short. I'm five foot tall and I cannot reach the front of the roof nest. But there are videos on YouTube, quite a few actually now, that show you how to modify the latches so you can close it with one person even if you are shorter. It's important to get the longer strap looped under the shorter strap before you start closing it. If not, you're going to have to reopen it and loop the longer strap through it. Now that we have the front partially closed and the strap is partly in the latch, we're gonna do the same thing to the back. It's a lot easier to get one end started and then go to the other. It doesn't matter if you start from front to back or back to front. It's whatever works easiest for you. But once you have both sides partially closed, the front and the back, you're going to start pushing the sides of the tent in to make sure none are hanging out before you start latching anything. You can see here Josh is trying to make sure the longer strap is tucked under the shorter strap before he starts closing it. When closing a roof nest by yourself, sometimes you have to get creative. You'll notice Josh is ready to use his head to help close it. There are a few more clips after this one of different viewpoints of closing the roof nest sparrow. That way you can see some close-ups of the latches and straps. You're going to notice that this latch doesn't close and it pops back open. That's because Josh didn't squeeze the button on the side of the latch. Once he does that, it will stay shut. I hope this gives you a better viewpoint of closing the roof nest sparrow and a better understanding of how all the latches and straps work. We hope this video helps. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We've also recently started a Patreon account, which gives you some behind the scenes footage of what we're up to. And we now have a podcast called Dirt Don't Hurt Adventures Podcast. It's available on Apple Music and Spotify. Thanks for watching.